Hello and welcome to this video for Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm continuing my arena cutoff series and this time I'm looking at the 3-star arena. Last time I covered the 4-star basic arena so um, with this video I'm moving on to the 3-star arena. So let's go ahead and take a look at the all the basically the 3-star arena results since March when the new arena structure was released. So as you can basically see here over the last couple months, there's been a pretty common pattern where you have a high, high, a higher number for uh, the cutoff than a lower number, higher number than lower number, higher number than lower number. And so when I took a look at this data at a little closer, well, first of all, to summarize the overall results, the average is right around 100,000 with a standard deviation of almost 300,000. 300, with the co coefficient of variation at 0.3. So even though less than one is good, this, when you look at it, when dealing with the three-star arena to have a standard deviation of 300,000, when the average is almost a million, isn't the greatest. So there's something going on again here with the data. But compared to the four-star um, basic arena, there's a, a really, you know, there's two categories here. And so really the two types of three-star arena, the new and then old. So when there's a new um, hero champion character available, you can see the results anywhere from 1.1 to 1.3 million. And if it's old, it's at the lower end from 645 to 664,000, 6, 664,000. So that's kind of what you're seeing here. At the top of the graph, those are all the new champions. And, and at the bottom part of the graph, those are the lower champions. So, um, but I will say, if you look at the trend, the trend is higher cutoffs for both right now. So let's first take a look at the new arena, or the new champions. So when there's a new champion available in the three-star arena, you can see that uh, the average is 1.2 million with a standard deviation of 91,000. So that gets really close. There's not a lot of uh, variation here. So this is definitely one cutoff. So anytime it's a new champion, you can pretty much bank that it's gonna be around 1.2 million for the cutoff. And as I mentioned earlier, we're seeing a higher level now. Um, it's almost getting to 1.3 million for the cutoffs. And then when we look at the three star um, when we look at the when we look at the three-star old champions available, um, that that you get basically to the lower end of the graph. So you look here, the average is around 653,000 with a standard deviation of 6,000. I mean that's pretty small, a coefficient of 0 0.009. So you can pretty much bank that it's going to be around and basically 653. That's pretty much right around the last milestone, which is at 640,000. So if you go up to like 660, 655,000, you're pretty much guaranteed any time that it's an old champion. And it looks like those numbers are holding true again with Star-Lord, even though the four-star feature arena is much different, the three-star basic arena here is, uh, since he's an old available champion, that um, that sits right around these numbers. But again, just as, as I noted before, the cutoffs are starting to go up a little bit higher. And if you're wondering, when, when it, is there a big difference between round one and round two? Again, you can see here that they're pretty much on par with one another. The only the biggest differences are with the new champions. It's like that first time out, everybody's trying to get their hands on the new champion. That and that's for the second round. Um, the number the cutoffs have been dropping. Specifically, look at King King Groot. You can see he's got the biggest um, variation. And then um, even with Nebula and Yondu. Um, there's they're starting to get a little separation in terms of the cutoff between the round one cutoff and the round two cutoff. So, what does all this mean? What are the cutoffs? So here basically are my cutoff predictions uh, for the three-star arena moving forward. First, when we're dealing with a new character, even though the uh, the screen here shows Star Lord, Star Lord would really count here. Basically, um, insert any new champion. So we've got Carnage and Punisher 2099 coming up. So when those are available for the first time, you a, a good um, cutoff prediction is right around 1.3 million so if you go for 1.3 million um, 
if you get to 1,333,000, you should be able to get Carnage. Now again, for round two, since everybody gets our Carnage and Punisher 2099, or basically any new <laughs> uh, three-star champion that's available. Um, and then for round two, you can get them for right around 1,250,000. That's what, these are the targets. <coughs> to be clear, these are the targets that I'm kind of suggesting i would probably say round one is going to again be around 1.3 million so if you get an extra 30,000, you should be fine and then uh, with round two if you get target around 1,250,000, you should be fine and uh, you know as if, if for whatever reason these are just based on predictions of past performance so if things if uh, if these things continue to trend up higher and higher i'll go i'll definitely update this um, just so you'll have the latest and greatest and then when it comes to the old if you just go a couple thousand a uh, couple tens of thousands are higher than the 640,000 milestone if you get to 675 even 665 really if you get around there you should always be able to um, to grab the old three-star champion that's made available and that's both in the first round or second round and if you're wondering about the 11 to 25 percent tier um, basically it's a pretty close um, a pretty close uh, band there and when it's the new when it's the new champs are available it goes right above to the the top of the milestone so like the last milestone is 640 640,000 and so you'll be able to grab it land in that 11 to 25 percent tier by going a little bit above that milestone only for new champions so like when carnage and punisher uh, 2999 becomes available you'll want to make sure if you're going for that 11 to 25 to target around 650 660 if it's dealing with an old um, an, uh, an old or available champion is, is there for the three-star arena then you'll be able to get into that 11 to 25 percent tier for right around 490 thousand so again just to kind of recap if you take a look what are the call-off recommendations for round one of a new uh, first time available in the three-star arena you should target around 1.3 million sorry 1 million three hundred and thirty thousand and then round two you should target one million two hundred fifty thousand and then if we're dealing with an old three-star champion somebody that's already available uh, then all you need to get is around six hundred and seventy five thousand so hopefully this has been helpful um, if you're seeing anything else if you've taken a look at the data run through different models and seen some different things i would love to hear about it in the comment section if you have any questions about this and uh, would love to hear about it in the comment section too i will continue to be updating this over time as new results come in so um you know things can definitely change the different uh trends can definitely appear like i even mentioned earlier in this one I'm starting to see the numbers start going a little bit, a little bit higher each time with each cutoff. So as, as numbers and as results change, I'll make sure to keep these videos and the text updates um, updated. So again, hopefully this has been helpful. Would love if, if so, would really appreciate a like on the video. And if you like this and other videos I have in the channel, would really appreciate a subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.